Elon Musk is not a stranger when it comes to taking challenges and overcoming them with innovative and groundbreaking solutions. However, he is facing substantial challenges from the automotive industry in Germany for electric vehicle supremacy. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will look at how Tesla is getting destroyed by Germany. With German manufacturers long legacies, one may expect Germany to lead the automotive industry electrical revolution. However, it took a young American entrepreneur to convince the rest of the world to take electric vehicles seriously. But how did Tesla manage to outperform the entire German automobile industry in such a short amount of time? Elon Musk and Tesla are undoubtedly leading in the market of electrical automobiles. But the situation is a little different in Europe. Volkswagen is giving serious competition to Elon Musk's company in the European market. Volkswagen is a German automotive giant. The CEO of Volkswagen, Herbert Diaz, is a huge admirer and follower of Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk. He has previously invited Musk to his factory to meet some of his top managers, but this doesn't mean Diaz is deviating from his goal. One of his primary goals is to hurt Tesla at what they do best. That's right, he aims to overtake Tesla in the top electric vehicle market by 2025. He thinks electric vehicles will reach the price parity by the year 2025 with standard internal combustion engine vehicles. It is indeed an ambitious dream, but what makes these guys so successful in this exact thrive for excellence? The reason both Elon Musk and Herbert Diaz turned to electric vehicles is entirely different. Elon Musk wanted to reduce the rate of environmental pollution by eliminating the internal combustion engine vehicles by making everyone drive zero emission electric vehicles. That is why he is trying to make electric cars cheaper so that more people will give up their gas engine cars for electric vehicles. On the other hand, Volkswagen entered the electric vehicle industry to make up its lost image after the embarrassing diesel gate scandal in 2015, which showed how top officials were faking emission tests for years. Volkswagen used this as an opportunity to reinvent its brand as an environmentally conscious automotive maker. These came into Volkswagen after going through different CEOs from his local rival BMW. These was entrusted with two goals. He was trusted to regain the lost image and trust from his customers who moved on from Volkswagen following the scandal and to become a powerhouse in the electric vehicle industry. Another reason Volkswagen entered the electric vehicle industry is that it simply has to. The European Union has put forward strict targets for automotive companies concerning emissions, and fines for not following these targets are seriously high. And in the case of Volkswagen, it had to act fast to avoid another setback. Since taking over, Dies has tried to implement some of the strategies Elon's Tesla in the activities of Volkswagen also. So, Volkswagen was known for its insular culture. Dies wanted to open it up to a broader public just like Tesla, which is treated as an open book by Elon Musk. An ordinary person with a Twitter handle who follows Elon will pretty much be aware of what is happening at Tesla. The electric vehicle competition worldwide is something Tesla is winning without even a proper fight. But when it comes to Europe, the battle is much fiercer. An advantage Volkswagen has, it's a CEO who is driven by the goal of becoming an electric motility powerhouse. Another advantage of electric vehicles is their multiple brands. Unlike Tesla, which only comes in two models in Europe, Volkswagen has a wide range of models that appeal to a different class of people. For example, one of its many kinds, Porsche, offers luxurious vehicles to people who can afford premium quality, while its brands like Skoda appeals to people who are more price conscious. Volkswagen enjoys this advantage, that it's more tailor-made for the European market than the Tesla models. European markets tend to drift towards small cars with less space, less battery capacity, driving ranges, and above all, lower prices. Tesla vehicles, in comparison with Volkswagen, are way more costly. However, they provide more space, more battery power, and driving ranges. Tesla may be able to cut down on the cost when it starts the production in the Berlin plant and transport vehicles to Europe from there. However, Volkswagen poses a challenge to Tesla and Elon Musk in Europe to reduce the price of his product. Musk has stated that manufacturing would be Tesla's critical competitive edge. Let's compare Tesla's production against Volkswagen's. Many people used to criticize Tesla's quality while praising its software range and performance, but that is no longer the case. 
Tesla intends to build half a million vehicles in the Giga Berlin factory with only 7,000 workers. Volkswagen's Wolfberg facility, on the other hand, requires 65,000 employees and 5,000 robots to create 800,000 automobiles every year. Tesla has submitted plans to invest 5 billion euros on a 50 GWh battery facility near the site, outpacing Volkswagen's planned 40 GWh project in Salzgitter. Volkswagen has an advantage brand recognition, which was built upon through the years. Even after the diesel gauge scandal, the brand is familiar and easy to trust. Europeans generally prefer familiar brands when it comes to major investments like cars. This means they are more likely to buy a battery-powered Volkswagen than Tesla if and when they decide to switch to electric vehicles from internal combustion engines. The electric vehicle industry is a fast-growing sector. It is not easy to maintain leadership throughout the world for years. Experts have predicted that the industry will have regional leaders. If that's the case, Elon Musk and Tesla may have the upper hand in North America, but it might have to concede the European market and Asian market to companies like Volkswagen and native Chinese companies respectively. Volkswagen, similar to Tesla, is focusing on the battery to become the next electric vehicle powerhouse. The race could be won by whoever gets the batteries. As a result, Volkswagen is locking down its battery supplies to power its expansion plans. This Volkswagen Volkswagen Power Day remind you of anything? Yes, it is similar to Tesla's very own Battery Day yearly event, where Musk and his top engineers tell the world about their efforts and results regarding batteries. During Power Day, Volkswagen CEO Herbert Dees explained his company battery strategy and the ambition to secure the pole position. Like Tesla, Volkswagen is investing in significant numbers in battery plants across Europe. It is planning to invest in six big battery plants by 2030. The company is estimated to spend around $29 billion for this purpose alone. Dees intends to make 60% of all cars Volkswagen produces electric by this time. Tesla is trying to reduce its battery cost by 56%. At the same time, Volkswagen has announced it can reduce the battery cost by 50% by developing a one-size-fits-all format for most use cases. Volkswagen also plans to be Tesla by utilizing its massive experience in mass production. The company produces around 10 million vehicles annually, and is also trying to replicate similar numbers in the electric vehicle industry. Volkswagen plans to build a new plant in Wolfsburg factory to facilitate its project Trinity Electric Vehicles by 2025. The second facility will create Volkswagen's forthcoming Trinity sedan, the radical EV flagship vehicle due to arrive in 2026, and is designed to rival Tesla's planned gigafactory in Grünheide, Germany, in terms of production efficiency. According to Autocar, Volkswagen's project Trinity Electric vehicle will be the first production car the company has ever built for the inside out when it hits the market. Dees and Volkswagen are also trying to compete with Tesla for technical superiority. Dees understands the merit and value of Tesla software, mainly its autonomous driving. Dees believes the next generation of electric automotive is something that Europe can play the leading role in the domain of complex software. According to Volkswagen, the Trinity will be equipped with level 3 semi-autonomous driving technology. The automobile will be able to drive itself in many scenarios with Level 3. However, the driver will still be able to get involved. By 2030, the company hopes to have transition to a Level 4 system, give or take. Level 4 does not need any human interaction. On the other hand, Volkswagen continues to fall behind Tesla on a worldwide scale. In the first three quarters of 2021, Tesla sold almost 627,000 electric vehicles, while Volkswagen sold roughly 293,000. In the coming decade, Volkswagen, along with other conventional manufacturers and EV startups, aims to produce a slew of new all-electric cars. That brings us to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed our content. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. What do you think of Volkswagen's effort to beat Tesla in the European market? Will Tesla find new ways to keep a stronghold in the electric vehicle industry worldwide? Leave your suggestions in the comments box down below. See you next time with yet another exciting video. Until then, goodbye.